Folks, I want to introduce you to Nanofoam. These are a completely new design for lapping. Uh, these plates will lap uh, the hardest ceramics. They're very, very flat, and I'm really proud of them. I'm going to be selling these lapping plates going forward and supporting them, and I really look forward to all of your comments and thoughts and you know whatever, whatever uh, comes to mind when you see these products. So I've been thinking about them for a long time, and I think we need um, several different products for several different needs in the market. And accordingly, this is what I've come up with. So, <clears throat> thinking about these products, um, I came up with a couple of different designs. And one is called Button Tech, and the other is called Ridge Tech. And the Ridge Tech stones are a little more traditional. They are electroplate nickel on an aluminum substrate. And the Button Tech are quite different. These, um, I, I think, are really unusual in the market. Um, these are solid diamond buttons. So these the buttons are about 10 millimeters tall, and the diamonds are um, mixed throughout the uh, matrix of the button. These are tough buttons, virtually indestructible. Now, in both cases, what I've learned about lapping over the years is that it really is the edges of these structures that is doing the work. Most of the work when we're lapping is really not the smooth surface on the um, surface of the lapping plate. It's really more about the edges. And so you can see with these designs, I've really maximized the number of edges in the star pattern here. You can see it has lots and lots of edges. And um, it also has a lot of space so that the plate is easy to clean and so it doesn't clog and fill up. Now, this plate here um, is our coarsest plate. And it is uh, 80 microns. And the star pattern is 50 microns. So this is a, a smaller diamond. The 80 micron diamond is a larger diamond. And this is a coarser plate. With a larger particle, you get a coarser plate. And this is a finer sized diamond, so it's a smoother one. So this plate is designed to work on coarser grit stones, 220, 320, very coarse stones. Uh, right up to, I would say you, you probably wouldn't want to use this much past um, 3,000 uh, grit would be about the, uh, the, the finest stone I would, I would use this plate on. Now, the diamond, excuse me, the star pattern is a 50 micron diamond. It's smoother. And so it's not going to be so effective on the 220, but from a thousand on up to uh, even half a micron, about 30,000, um, it's going to be a very effective plate. And these plates are flat. They are in the neighborhood of plus or minus 25 microns. So they're they're flat to about a quarter of the thickness of human hair. Now, the button plates are heavier right off the bat. You pick it up, you notice, and that's because the substrate is stainless steel. And they come in two sizes. We have 60 millimeters by 240 millimeters, and we have a 70 millimeter by 250 millimeters. So the larger one is uh, a little over 20% more surface area, and it spreads out the buttons a little wider, and it's really quite heavy. To put with that, that stainless steel is really heavy. Um, and what I've done is really 
pull the uh, buttons apart and put a lot of distance between them so that the buttons themselves have a lot of point. Each plate comes with an individual serial number and each serial number has its own inspection certificate. So each plate is individually certified for flatness uh, and that um, certificate ships with each of them. Let's start with the NL4 and this is the coarse 80 micron uh, ridge tech plate and it has grooves in the side and those are so you can grip it and I'm going to put a very tough uh, ceramic abrasive up here and we'll, we'll flatten this one uh, to begin with so we'll just put some water up there on this abrasive and just lightly at first I'm going to put it up there and just very lightly see how it um, works the surface and where it touches it looks like it's hitting just around the edges a little bit and as, as is common this stone appears to be a little hollow in the middle and so now we'll put it to the test here and it's, uh, you can hear it cutting it's cutting that ceramic beautifully now I'm applying a little bit of pressure and you can see it's just really cutting that surface beautifully and very, very flat. Beautiful. And you can see the design here has the grooves open in the ends, and that's so the swarf can clear. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's working beautifully. It's hitting very, very nicely all over the, um, the plate. So now I'll um, try the NL5. And the NL5, well, let's just clear the stone. Boy, he's got a very rough, this is a 320 grit stone and the surface feels really rough as though it's going to just really bite the steel well and that's what we look for with the um, 320. Now we'll put the star pattern up there and the sound is quieter right away. And that's because it's a smaller diamond, it doesn't have as much bite. But it's again very flat, matching up with the surface very nicely. Sounds quite different. Beautiful, beautiful hitting very nicely all on the edges as I would expect and clearing very well. Beautiful. Now let's try the button tech and right away I mean this is a heavy stone and uh, this one is the NL8 it's a little bit smaller it reaches past the ends of the stones but not quite the length so we're going to use an X pattern and it sounds different as well. And very flat. Put some water up there. Clear it. Put a little pressure on it. You can really hear it cut right down into the stone. So it's 
just doing a beautiful job of flattening that stone. So let's try the NL10 now. That will be the largest of the plates. And it is again considerably heavier and bigger and matches up just like the other three did. I can just touch it and get the whole surface very nicely. Just beautiful. Beautiful. a great laughing plate. I don't think you could ever wear it out. Folks, I hope you enjoy my Nano Home products. Going forward, I'm going to work really hard to support all of you and bring you some really fun tools to work with. Thanks for watching. As you can see, I've uh, put a lot of thought into this uh, for a lot of years and I hope that you will all enjoy working with these products and don't hesitate to give me your feedback. Thank you.